All right, ladies and gents, uh, just wanted to make a short video introducing the map pool for Season 3 of Titans League. This would be gold and platinum. Uh, gold starting here in uh, early August, and then platinum starting after that concludes. Uh, we have a, a varied map pool, and the biggest thing about the map pool is that we do not have an Arabia or an Arena. That's right. We just had King of the Desert, which was all Arabia and nothing but Arabia. We just had Masters of Arena, which was nothing but Arena. So if you wanted just those... Those were your tournaments. Uh, we do have maps, though, that will obviously incorporate openness and closed strategies, so don't freak out too much. Costa Mountain, El Dorado, Fractal, Golden Pit, Graveyards, Hideouts, Lands Madness, Migration, Socotra, Spiral, and then Zewal. Those are our maps. Should be a varied map pool. Should be really exciting. So let's go through them. Okay, so this is Costa Mountain, and this is our Nomad start for this season. Uh, Costa Mountain has been used in other events before. Basically, you start in the middle of a of the mountains and then the coast, and you kind of have options on what you want to do and where you'd wish to go. Um, <laughs> the AI is choosing to TC here, uh, and many players may choose to TC right away so they can get more villagers out as quickly as possible, but you could obviously TC over here closer to the wood and the golden stone or move over here if you wish to. You have the water aspect, you have the land aspect. There's also lots of additional hunts in the middle. So there's ostrich, there's rhinos, and you do also start with more villagers than standard start, and then also with houses here. Additionally, you start with a camel, which is the only thing you have to scout the map. All right, next up, we have El Dorado, a map that is uh, coming back after many, many years. Like, I think the last time I used El Dorado in one of my events was 2018. Uh, and this one is a gold and stone focused map and there most of the golden stone on the map is actually in the middle and that middle area is always visible uh we also have water incorporated under this one so you, water and fishing ships would be very important on the outside of the map as you can see so it's a bit hybrid in that you have uh different food sources like the sheep the boars and then also the fish underneath your tc but then you also have water on the outer ring and then you also have the gold and stone towards the middle uh, each player will get uh, two tiles of gold available next to their base, and that is it. Otherwise, you're going to have to find gold elsewhere. And clearly, we have to do some balancing on certain things yet. Uh, it's still early days, but, like, relics need to be looked at. I'm not sure what this is. And the two tile golds we are going to ensure are not directly next to our middle area. But we're in the midst of working on that stuff. This is the idea of El Dorado. I don't expect it to be played that frequently because it will be ones that many players are going to want to avoid as some players come in less prepared than others. But believe me when I say that this will produce some amazing games. Always did in the past. All right, our next map is Fractal, a map I think originally used in a tournament called RMS Cup, and it's got some unique aspects to it. So first off, it's very aggressive, as players are quite close together on land. And then you have water, but the water you would have to chop to, and that's basically up to you, and that's not the only thing you can chop to. Uh, these reeds only have 50 wood on them, meaning that you could choose to dock later on if you place the proper lumber camp and micro your wood villagers to chop through to the water. There's other cool aspects too. Players could dock block, for example, by bringing a villager here. Uh, and then later on, you could, of course, chop down here where you're going to find a lot of open space in the corners with stone, gold, and wood accessible. Uh, this is an aggressive map where I expect most of the things to play out on land but land is not everything. So if you want your openness and you want your aggression, you've got it. Obviously, though, could have some strategies to bail you out by chopping through to different areas. So should be cool. Will be very different and another map where the meta's definitely not going to be there when the tournament starts and people are going to have to figure it out over time. Next up on our list is Golden Pit, one that you're probably all very familiar with from the ladder. Uh, Golden Pit, similar to Gold Rush, which we used in Season 1, is a map where you eventually run out of gold and you need to take the center area. Now, this will play out very differently from El Dorado, which I just showed a couple minutes ago, because El Dorado has water, and El Dorado uh, is less space to move around overall. This map can still be a pretty boomy map, but eventually, you need to have your share of the stone and the gold in the middle, as you only have six tiles of gold at your base before you're just out. Um, I I'm excited to see how this goes. The thing I like about Golden Pit is you can actually have both players in the middle at the same time but then also if you're going to the middle it is more of a risk because when you're in when you're at the bottom of a hill you do take more damage so 
Uh, it is actually a lot more likely we will have competitive games on Golden Pit than maybe, say, Gold Rush, uh, depending on the version you're looking at, due to how risky it is to be in the middle. Okay, uh, next up is Graveyards. And Graveyards is essentially, for those of you that are upset about the, there's no Arabia, is basically our Arabia replacement, right? You've got lots of tiny wood lines, uh, lots of potential for land aggression, barely standard resources, but there is uh, gold spread out all around the map, and there's relics spread out all around the map, so you might see civilizations that prioritize relic control a little bit more than you would see them on normal Arabia. And, yeah. Uh, you also have what used to be ponds that have dried up since uh, the OG version of graveyards actually had water. And we already have lots of maps with water, so we decided not to include that. So that's graveyards. I expect this to be played a lot due to the fact that a lot of players in Titans League prefer their open standard land maps, and they don't want to be surprised by anything, especially in the early weeks. But I love this map, and it should be awesome. The next one is another that you guys will probably be very familiar with, and it is Hideout. Uh, hideout, you start with Palisade Walls. You can play defensive, or you can choose to be aggressive and take map control and rush down the enemy Palisade Walls. Uh, players are on the opposite sides of wood lines, and there's lots of neutral golds and stones and relics to collect. This is more along the lines of an arena replacement, you could say, as it is more of a closed map. Uh, so again, just like I said, with graveyards, you have your open maps if you like it. For those of you that like your late games and like your closed maps, well, you've got Hideout for you. After Hideout, we have Lands Madness, which is another open map, another somewhat standard open map. However, this one's different because you can't wall easily. Um, so this area of the map cannot be walled on, meaning that you can't have that standard game like we might see in like Arabia or Graveyards where you build up with army and then slowly wall over time. Um, there's resources everywhere spread out, stones and golds. I expect to see lots of army, lots of scouts, lots of um, maybe even like double stable scouts on a map like this as it is so exposed. And it's one that has been incorporated in many tournaments over the last few years and normally delivers. So I'm excited. So Titans League Season 1 and Season 2 didn't really have a ton of water play. And I was initially thinking of doing Islands, and then I was looking through my list, and I was like, man, you know what map is actually awesome? Migration. So that's what we have here. Uh, migration, you start on a tiny island. You do have resources to work with, but eventually you need to control the mainland. Uh, we will see water on this. We will also see a combination of land. But it is different than a standard hybrid map, because water does matter a lot more. So, uh, I'm excited to see this. I'm also excited to see the Civ Draft, too, because, like, we're going to have Romans in this season. Are Romans good with their galleys? Maybe? <laughs> uh, will we see Drummonds from some of the civilizations that received that with the most recent patch? I don't know, but, uh, anyways, for those that like the waves and the water, we've got Migration. If you want aggression and you want lames and you want craziness, well, we've got freaking Socotra here, folks. Uh, this map will not produce the longest of games. This map will be favored by the crazy. And, uh, well, you've got one elephant, you've got some ostrich, you've got some berries, but very commonly on Socotra, uh, things get walled in a lot. Villager wars begin. Uh, there's lots of laming. There's lots of aggression. And, again, games end very quickly. So another map where aggression is the focus. We do have some maps, though, where um, that is not always the focus, or at least not right away, not quite like Socotra as we have two more maps remaining in the pool now. All right, so this map uh, first left an impression on me when I played it in uh, RMS Cup Qualifier, and it is really unique. So you've got lots of different access for food. This map is called Spiral, by the way. Uh, you've got boars, you've got some pigs, you've got some deer, you've got some berries. You also have berries accessible here, which there's additional food inside, if you so wish to get there. Um, in the middle, you've got golds, on marsh terrain, and then on the sides, you've got little ponds, which players could dock. Uh, I really like this map, because there's just so many different options to, to play it this way. And, like, what we saw in the previous seasons was some players prepare strategies. Other players, usually the players who are the best, they don't really do so, right? They just kind of play it by ear and figure it out over time. So, I like this because I think there can be a lot of creativity here, and... In the format of needing one, um, or sorry, in the format of every win mattering, this is going to provide players some opportunities to prepare some strategies and possibly surprise some people. 
Uh, I honestly don't know how it's going to play out. I assume we're going to see uh, some fighting over water, but mainly fighting over land. But the point is, is there's tons of options. So that's why we picked Spiral. The final map for this season brings you some stone walls for the first time. We've got Zuwal. And this one feels like Arena, but plays out very differently than Arena because this wall does not belong to anyone. As you can see, Otto the Great here, he can't see that wall. So it is a Gaia wall. It is an unprotected wall, and players may choose to fight through that wall, whether that be sneakily on the sides or right through the middle. Uh, there's also stones and golds that are closer to that wall uh, as opposed to, you know, always being safe in the back. And yeah, it's going to produce late game scenarios, but also introduces the some different aspects, which I think could allow players, again, to be creative, come up with some strategies, and really surprise someone. So those are our 11 maps for Titans League Season 3. Again, this will be for gold, and then this will be for platinum. Uh, curious to hear what people have to think about the maps. I know some people were immediately like, what? No Arabia? Oh my god! And people freaked out about no arena as well. But I think the variety should be good. And I wanted to make a quick video on it. Uh, one final disclaimer. There are some balanced things we are still tweaking with all of these maps. We are still quite a few weeks away from the season actually starting. But we wanted to get the map pool announced and get an introduction in so you guys could see how things are going to play out uh, with these settings. That's it. Titans League Gold officially starts in August. Uh, we are currently finishing up Titans League Silver as players are trying to qualify for gold. It's this whole big thing. And I'll be casting as much of that as I can and tossing it all in the extras channel here. So, anyways, enjoy. Hardy is enjoying editing this, I'm sure. He's got a big smile on his face right now.